Hey guys, welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. It's Tuesday, time to talk about some new releases. So we get to almost 600 titles coming out this Friday, October 7th. I got 16 on the list I'm going to talk about today. There's a bunch of links down below. Make sure you go check all those out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group for our merch page. There's links for the Vinyl Den um, Spotify and Apple Music Weekly playlist that we put together. And also the uh, Patreon page. Make sure you check all that out. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new episodes. So like I said in the intro, there's almost 600 albums coming out this Friday. I got 16 that I'm going to talk about today. So if there's something I don't talk about in the show today, make sure you drop me a comment down below. Let me know what else is coming out because there's a bunch of stuff. There's, you know, I do tend to, to miss some things. I will say of all the albums I'm going to talk about today, I'll put links down below. Uh, if you're not able to find them in your local store, they're all, I think they're all available on, uh, on Amazon. But, uh, you know, definitely uh, check out and, and pick up what you're looking for. This week, there's looks like there's a kind of a little bit of mix of some new stuff and some, some reissues coming out. The first one, this is Beyonce's new album, Renaissance. This was originally released back in July. It's her seventh studio album. This is the first time it's been available on, on vinyl. I think it's been available. It was released digitally back in July, and I think it's also been available on CD for a while. It's going to run you 40 bucks. You know, it's a double LP. It comes with a 36-page booklet, and uh, it's also one of three randomized posters that are coming with it. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to pass on this. I'm not a huge Beyonce fan, to, to be completely honest. But all the stuff I've, I've read about it, it sounds like it's a fantastic album. They, a lot of people are saying it's one of her best albums, definitely one of her most co more, more cohesive albums overall. So it's definitely, it's definitely one I need to, to go and stream and check out. The next one, this is Daniel John's Future and Ever. This was also released back earlier this year. So this was released back in April. It's going to run you 23 bucks online. This is uh, Daniel's second studio album. This is going to be available on blue and red marble vinyl. And, um, you know, if you're unfamiliar with who Daniel John's is, Daniel John's was the front man for, um, for Silverchair back in the, you know, 90s, early 2000s period. And, uh, you know, but his stuff is, his solo stuff is very, very different than, than what he did with, uh, with Silverchair. This is, uh, there's definitely more rock elements with, with Future Never than there was with his previous album, but it's still very like electro pop is kind of the, the way I would, uh, would, um, kind of describe his music. Like I said, it's very, very different than the stuff that, uh, that he did previously. I listened to his first studio album. It's actually not that bad. I'm not a big fan of Future Never, but it's not a terrible album. Uh, like I said, it's only running 23 bucks. If you are a fan, it's it's definitely one to, to check out. I would say, you know, even if you aren't, uh, 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 if you're not familiar with his album, if you're definitely into more of that uh, electro pop kind of stuff, definitely, definitely check it out because it, it is worth uh, worth listening to. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I'm a big jazz guy. And I've been really loving these Tone Poet and uh, and uh, classic series releases that uh, Blue Note's been doing over the last you know couple of years. We got two new uh, Tone Poet releases coming out this week. The first one you got uh, Grant Green feeling the spirit. Both I will say both of these are running thirty nine bucks online, which is a little bit more expensive than you probably you know normally you know pay for for these kind of jazz releases. But the I will say that the classic series releases tend to be. You know, a little bit cheaper packaging than what you get with the Tone Poet series releases. The Tone Poet series releases are always gatefold jackets. They're really nice presentation, what Blue Note does with them. I will say that they are definitely worth the 39 bucks to pay for it. So this Grant Green release was originally released back in 1962. Uh, it's got to Herbie Hancock, Butch Warren, and Billy Higgins all on this album. Uh, I, I love Grant Green. I've got a couple of Grant Green albums. It's definitely one I'm looking forward to. And then the next one, you got uh, Kenny Burrell's self-titled album. This was recorded over four sessions in 1956, and it uh, this is the mono version uh, of this release. Uh, you know, I know that uh, some of the Blue Note stuff has been stereo. I know the uh, what was it the Blue Train that they released a couple of weeks ago was a mono and a stereo version. So the, this is a, a mono release, and uh, the cool thing is about uh, this album the the cover artwork is done by Andy Warhol. So it's kind of cool. I will say that. All these all these Tone Poet series releases were all mastered by Kevin Gray. They're all taken from the original analog tapes, and they're all cut at uh, RTI. So these all sound absolutely fantastic. I'm definitely looking forward to both those releases. The classic Joni Mitchell album, Blue, is being reissued this week. 
And uh, what I've been reading about this, I think this is just the reissue of the 2021 uh, remaster that was done by Bernie Grumman. So it's just a reissue of that release. It's going to run to 21 bucks. Of course, this is the classic that was released way back in 1971. You know, I've long considered it one of the greatest albums of all time. Definitely a big fan of that. I don't have it on vinyl, so it's probably one I'll, I'll definitely pick up, especially since it's only 21 bucks. It's not a bad price. And then this week you've also got L7, The Beauty Process, uh, Triple Platinum being released, being reissued, I would say. I should say. This came out way back in 1997. It's on black vinyl. I think this is just a reissue of the RSD release that came out a couple of years back. I'm... Uh, uh, I may be wrong. If somebody knows different, just drop me a comment and let me know. Uh, this is their fifth studio album. And uh, the beauty process was definitely different than... It's a little bit slower of an album than what uh, L7 had done earlier in their career. It's it's still a great album. I don't own that on vinyl either. 28 bucks, you know, online, so it's it's not badly priced either. Actually, I think when it came out on Record Store Day, it was like 30 or 32 So I'll... Uh, you know, it's, it's one I definitely need to kind of go back. I think I've got... Um, I think I've only got one L7 album. I need to go back and kind of revisit some, some of their stuff. I know there's at least two or three more of their albums that, uh, you know, I've had on CD over the years and they're all fantastic, but, uh, you know, it's definitely one that I need to pick up. So this week they're celebrating the 10th anniversary of Macadelic, which was Mac Miller's, uh, mixtape that was released back in 2012. This is a double LP. It's on silver vinyl. It's going to run you 36 bucks online. It does come with a poster. You know, I, I know a lot of people don't really do anything with the posters. I think all the albums, I guarantee you, actually, all the albums that I have that came with posters, they're all sitting in the packaging still. I, I don't really ever do anything with them. But it's a, it's a great album if you want to go back and check it out. Mac Miller is a fantastic artist. Well, I should say was a fantastic artist. I love all the stuff that he, that he did. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one. And then this week you got uh, New Radicals. Maybe you've been brainwashed too. Maybe uh, it's probably, in my opinion, the most underrated album of the of the '90s. Came out back in 1998. If you're unfamiliar with it, it was the only album from the band. the The band after the release of this album was kind of fed up with you know how the music industry worked and kind of walked away. But uh, and, and their lead singer. Went on to do a lot of production work, a lot of behind-the-scenes work over the years. But this is going to be a music on vinyl release, so you know it's going to sound great. It's on black vinyl. It's a double LP. Uh, you know, actually, this came out. This was uh, um, so music on vinyl. They do their releases kind of weird. Uh, this came out in, in Europe last week. Uh, it's pressed these uh, music on vinyl. All their stuff is pressed in the Netherlands. I don't know why I always forget. I know it's over. It's in that area over there somewhere in Europe. So, uh, uh, it tends to get released in Europe a week earlier before it actually comes over here to the U S. So if you don't have a copy of it, it's going to run you 48 bucks online, which is kind of pricey. Last time I looked, um, on Amazon, Amazon actually had, uh, copies available of the translucent yellow version for like 32 bucks that uh, was released back in 2017. So it's definitely an album that's worth checking out if you're unfamiliar with it. You finally have the uh, Pink Floyd Animals box set being released this week. It was released, uh, you know, on vinyl two weeks ago. Actually, I got the standard version right over my shoulder here, uh, up on the wall. This is the box set for the 2018 newly uh, remixed version. I will say that if you love Pink Floyd, if you love animals, this is absolutely 100% the, the version to have of it. it. sounds absolutely fantastic. I was blown away with how great this sounds. This is going to run you. The funny thing is, if you go to your local record store, and this is one of the times where I kind of, I see why some people kind of bash on, <laughs> on Amazon for some of the stuff they do, but if you go to your local record store, this is thing's going to cost you 100, 110, 115 bucks. Last time I looked on Amazon, it was $62, and I bought it on Amazon even cheaper than that. I think I paid, I pre-ordered it for, I think, $54. So, you know, it, it's kind of hard to beat at that price, even though I already have it on vinyl, I have it on CD, <laughs> I bought the SACD of it also. But this uh, box set comes with the LP, comes with the CD, uh, it has a DVD. The box set is the only way to get the DVD audio version of this. And uh, the box set also comes with a Blu-ray and a 32-page booklet all packaged up. It's going to be really sweet. I'm looking forward to, to checking out for sure. Uh, the next one, you got uh, Soul Asylum, Grave Dancers Union. Original release back in 1992. It's celebrating their 30th anniversary. This is going to be on black and gold marbled vinyl. 
It's also a music on vinyl release. It's limited to only 5,000 copies, though, so it might be a little harder to get. It's going to run you, run you 37 bucks online. If you're if you're only like casually of um, you know a fan of Soul Asylum, I think this is definitely the album to have. This has Runaway Train, which was the huge hit off this album. It's uh, it's one that I don't have in my collection, so I'm definitely looking forward to grabbing that. The next one on the list is one of my other must-haves this week. This is White Lion Pride. This was originally released back in 1987, celebrating the 35th anniversary of this album. It's being released by Friday Music. It's going to run you about 37 bucks online. That's going to be on Turquoise Vinyl. This is one of my favorite albums of the 80s. Absolutely love this album. I was like, it came out in 87, so I was like 7 or 8 years old when this album came out. It's going to run you 37 bucks. Tends to be a little more expensive, but Friday Music does a great job with their releases. They did, um, you know, a, a couple of the Alice Cooper reissues over the last year or so. I know they did the School Is Out. I think they also did Killer. Uh, might have been one more that they did also, but they, they did a great job with them. I'm, I'm really happy with those Alice Cooper releases. I've got an original pressing of Pride, so I'm definitely looking forward to kind of adding uh, a new version to to the collection. This week, you've also got the new album from Lamb of God being uh, being released. This is Omens. It's their ninth studio album. And uh, from what I saw, I saw an interview with the lead singer, said it's their their angriest album is what uh, he kind of geared the album towards. If you're unfamiliar with, with Lamb of God, they're one of those heavy metal bands, newer kind of heavy metal bands. Definitely worth checking out. I think Sacrament is the only album from them I've ever listened to. This is going to run in 26, 20, I'm sorry, it's actually cheaper. It's going to run in 20 bucks online. It would help if I read my notes correctly there. So it's not a bad price. I uh, It's one that I'll definitely check out and stream. I'm not a huge heavy metal guy, but uh, like I said, I like Sacrament, but I just never really dug into any of their other stuff. Then the you know, you've also got Warrant, Greatest and Latest being reissued. Uh, it's going to run you 30 bucks online. It was this was a really a release back in 1999, and uh, it is a greatest hits collection, but it's a kind of different. It's a different kind of greatest hits collection. They went back and re-recorded all their biggest stuff, and I think there's two or three unreleased tracks on this one. It's on uh, red and black splatter vinyl. Generally, not a fan of, of re-recorded stuff, so I'm gonna pass on that one. Even though I do love Warrant, I th- I'd love to see them. You know, release all their stuff on vinyl. Unfortunately, their last, I want to say their last, like, three or four albums were never released on vinyl. It's definitely a band that's kind of, if if you're familiar familiar with their first couple of albums, you know, it's a band that's definitely worth kind of going back and and checking out their later stuff also. A lot of great stuff that they did. But, uh, you know, I just can't, I can't hop on board with the the re-recorded stuff. The last three albums on the list are all part of the Rhino Records Rocktober releases that are coming out this week. Hey, I made it through <laughs> with that whole sentence without uh, messing it up at all. But uh, you got three of them coming out. You got Cars, Candy O. It's going to run at 22 bucks. Originally released back in 79. It was their second studio album. It's on ultra clear vinyl. I don't know what makes it ultra clear other than... Uh, I don't know what the difference between clear and ultra clear is, but uh, it's, that's how they're... Uh, that's how they're they're, they're branding this, but uh, you've also got Panorama by the Cars coming out. Uh, it's uh, on Cobalt Blue Vinyl, also going to run you 22 bucks. And then you've got uh, one of my favorite 80s albums of all time, Talking Heads, Remain in Light. This is on Solid White Vinyl. I did a video about all the Rocktober releases just recently, and uh, I said in that video, and I'll say it again, I'm not a big fan of solid white vinyl. If you're going to do white, at least do some kind of like translucent white or some kind of marbling to it. Just plain white, I think, just looks kind of boring to me. But anyway, it's going to be 25 bucks online. It was uh, released back in 1980, their fourth studio album. That's a great album. Like I said, it's one of my favorite of, of the 80s. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Big, long list. There's 16 titles that are coming out this week that uh, I talked about. If I didn't talk about something, make sure you drop me a comment down below. Let me know what I missed and what you're looking forward to picking up this week. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. Peace.